What's up Libra? Happy New Year. This is your love forecast for the first two weeks of January. That's January 1st through to the 15th. This is for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of January. Any love messages for my Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, first two weeks of January. What can you tell my Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, first two weeks of January. The Strength card, the Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands and the Five of Cups and the Devil and the Four of Cups. Okay, Libra, there's a situation here which is really testing your strength. I feel like there's a person that you feel um, either has deceived you in some way or there's a situation you feel you can't really trust or someone has kind of snuck away okay maybe they just snuck off the four of swords is like you going within you're trying to get some answers you're in a state of introspection you're also healing okay now with the eight of wands and the five of cups and the devil there's someone here it's like you're, it's very hard to let go of this person there's heavy desires heavy attachments i feel like this person has disappointed you with the four of cups it's like they've probably made you feel like they didn't take your cup or you're feeling sort of emotionally rejected you might also be feeling like you're not sure if you want the cup anymore, but then on the other hand, it's very hard to let them go. With the five of cups, um, it's like there's spilt cups now between you and this person. There's regrets and there's sadness. Now with the eight of wands, I feel like this person is coming in because they want to express something to you. And it could be that they are wanting to express some kind of a regret because I do feel like this person, as I said, they have heavy desires for you. It's very difficult for this person also to let you go. Um, devil card can be very uh, sexual energy it also could be obsession okay but something has you not trusting this situation and i think that you are trying to take back some control and some strength let me see about the oof too many guys i'm clumsy tell me about the seven of swords the world okay some of you are dealing with a person that lives at a distance with the world card um, but otherwise this is like you're trying to close this out okay libra it's like you want to let go of this person um, things have been at a rest state and it's like you are just trying to get some completion or closure on it. Um, but the King of Cups here to me means that this is someone that you have a real emotional connection with. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me a bit more about this um, Four of Swords. Why are things at a rest state? The moon. Things are not clear between you and this person, okay? There's murkiness. You could sense that there's things going on in the background or things that haven't been revealed. Um, perhaps this person doesn't reveal their true emotions as well. Seven of Swords, like I said, this person could just sneak away, right? Um, strong Pisces with the moon as well. I'm going to get more on this person because I feel like they are coming in because they want to communicate something to you. Um, but just one more, please, Spirit, on the moon. Why do we have the moon? It's like you're not clear on it, Libra, so it's hard for you to let go as well as the Eight of Cups comes out. So the Eight of Cups, it's like there's a sense of wanting to turn your back now and walk away completely. Also, you could feel like this person has sort of turned their back on you. Um, but, you, you know, with the moon and the eight of cups, I feel like there's things that haven't been revealed. And it could be that this person needs to leave behind a situation, right? So I feel like maybe they tried to get away with something. They haven't been clear with you. Um, but the ace of cups to me and the page of swords means that they still watch you. There's a sense of observation. You know, that could be mutual. You both could kind of keep an eye on each other, keep tabs on each other check out each other's social media, and there's a sense of wanting to renew the love, okay? Um, I wanna get a little bit more on this person because I feel this person is coming in to communicate with you. We've got strong Capricorn energy with that devil, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, I said Cancer and um, Scorpio, didn't I? Um, okay, so Spirit, what is this person's feelings and intentions towards Libra now? in the first two weeks of January. We've also got strong Leo guys and Aries and Sagittarius, sorry. Queen of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers, wow. We've got the Emperor card and the Ace of Swords and the Chariot 
and the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords again, guys. Okay, and the Empress. Oh my goodness. So we have an Emperor and an Empress. So some of you, you are dealing with a divine counterpart, a twin flame or a soulmate. We do have two people that match here. So this person feels that you are their match. Um, this is a person that they see you as a person that they really want to grow and expand with. They still hold on to you, Libra, with the Four of Pentacles. But it's also an energy of withholding, right? So they have been holding out on you. I think this person is coming in to have a conversation. Ace of Swords, they want to express something to you. They want to clarify things. The Chariot card means they want to move towards you and they want to steer things in the right direction. They have built a foundation with you with the Seven of Pentacles and they're aware that this hasn't come to its full potential. You're coming off as a Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, this is someone that they desire, okay? You're coming across as magnetic very attractive and the page of swords means that they are still spying on you they're still checking you out so if they haven't communicated they've been thinking about communicating they're still watching you and checking out your social media and keeping tabs on you lovers card strong soulmate energy here twin flame soulmate energy here it's possible that this person may have someone else that's for a small portion of you um, and it might be that a decision needs to be made lovers card is decisions duality um, but I think things will become very clear. Okay, so the moon energy, all this stuff is going to be clarified for you. So there's going to be some kind of a breakthrough with that Ace of Swords. There's the full card here. So this person is going to take some kind of a leap of faith towards you um, and have some kind of a new beginning in truth. Ace of Swords. Um, yeah, strong Aries with that Emperor. And then you're coming up as the Empress Libra um, and strong Taurus energy. Okay. Um, Let's get some Romance Angels for you guys. Romance Angels, please, for Libra now for the first two weeks of January. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Well, there you go, Empress and Emperor. So there's definitely um, a strong connection here. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I think that this person is trying to manifest you um, back right? They want to have this new beginning. I feel like they have been tied up because there are some things that are holding them back. Um, but they're trying to sort of manifest a new start with you. And I feel like you've been doing the same. What have we got here? New love. Okay. Didn't I just say new love or a new beginning? New love. So this person wants a new beginning with you. You may already have a new love, Libra. Okay. New person has stirred your romantic feelings. Maybe you're the one that needs to make a choice with the lover's card worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so something here to do with timing um because as i said maybe things had to be wrapped up elsewhere maybe this has taken a long time to come together spirit saying divine timing is at work in your love life unrequited love well this person has made you feel that way okay i feel um libra unrequited love but I feel that, again, it's because there's some stuff going on that needs to be revealed. I feel like this person shies away from their emotions. I feel like there could be some toxicities or there could be some outside attachments that need to be let go of. So either way, I think you're going to have the clarity that you need um, to move forward. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So either way, um, Libra, it's important also to understand that um, everything happens for a reason and in the right timing and order. So Spirit's saying just have faith, you know, um, that everything's working out, right, in the right way. Okay, Libra, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks' time. Lots of love.